Hey guys, what if here, and welcome back to Astro 6 Total Team Control Career Mode Part 26, the penultimate part of the Bush Series Saga that we're kind of doing right now. We'll be doing race 31, 32, and 33. So, yeah, I am right in that assumption. So our point lead is 318 over Luke Trigger. As long as we don't have a, a cataclysmic failure of a part, we should keep that gap pretty uh, stable, but you never know. So, yeah. Anyways, we got Lana, which I'm concerned with. It's probably not going to go very well. But, we got to do it anyways, so. On to qualifying. Off turn four, it looks like we're going to be starting second. I can't imagine if we'll get a pull because the ticker is kind of flickering, so. I'll take it. I mean, even if we got first, we're still going to have a horrible start. Also, you saw me <laughs> clip the wall there on the second lap there. That's where I messed up. Yeah, even if we got the pole, like I said, we, we would lose, like, five spots anyway, so it really wouldn't matter. I seriously thought we were at Atlanta. I honestly thought we were at Atlanta. Because, <laughs> like, Atlanta, I think in real life, did have night races in the fall, so I'd say... <laughs> I guess I wasn't wrong to assume that. I just... I, I was probably looking at the truck thing, and I just got confused. That's... I'm stupid. Race setup, uh, same as usual. Obviously, if this was Lowe's or Atlanta, it's still the start is going to be just as bad as usual. So, I'm would be would say not too worried about it, but it's going to happen anyways. So we just got to minimize the damage. That's uh, 16 laps. We'll pin out lap eight. The the usual for a mile and a half. It looks like wow, we're going to get to the inside line right away. That's nice. Now we got to clear Kenseth, and we got a little bit of breathing room for a bit. Also, this, this track kills you with the apron, so we got to be mindful of that as well. And it looks like Kenseth will be able to get third on me. Uh, just kidding, because we'll keep the car kind of pinned to the bottom. Okay, now we got third. Now I can relax a little bit. Well, we closed in on uh, Boyer and Kyle Busch up here, so that's always good. Now we just got to slowly, just meticulously find a way to get around them. Again, this is all good and dandy, but we all know that Picker's going to screw it up, so we're going to lose time anyway, so it's going to make this almost no more than likely pointless that we're trying to get a spot here, but at least I'll feel good in the process, at least knowing that I got to second at one point, because that's what, at the end of the day, makes me feel good about it. So what I've been doing is uh, purposely intimidating Kyle Busch for no real reason other than just getting him to be my rival, so... I'm doing it on the back straightaway because if I do it in the corners, it might kill him. And I don't really want to do that. But I just I want to make him salty. That's all I want to do. Just want to really agitate him. I'm pinning this lap. We're still kind of there with Boyer and uh, Kyle Busch there. Just couldn't really get a chance to get by them. Got close at one point. Yeah, we're pinned here. Boyer's doing the same. 70 miles an hour. Perfect. And a little bit too slow. Okay. Four tires and fuel and we'll be out in the way. Well, our picker yet again botched the stop. Why are we just sitting there? Oh my, there goes our race. There goes our race again. Because the fucking AI driver just wanted to just stop. For no reason at all. We're going to get by the 120 car here. No idea where we're going to cycle out. Looks like Kyle Busch, Leapfrog, Boyer there. And we are going to go from third to probably 15th or 14th. That's just sad. How many times? Do I gotta get a counter out for this too? How many times the pit crew just... It's either the pit crew or my AI driver just stopping and just just ruining any chance we had. It's gotta be over 10 times. It, it has to be over 10 times at this point. It's, it's just unreal how many races we get screwed out of because of this. We pop this group of cars here. We're going to get by Vickers without too much of a problem. We have this 135 that's angry at me, so I'm hoping he's not too angry enough to the point where he doesn't, you know, where he hits me. Uh, top 10 is still uh, surprisingly doable at this point. So we just got to you know, bite our time here. Go to the inside. That's for position. Oh, Mr. Blocky Pants. Okay, I, I get it. I get it. You're salty. Oh, that was a kind of a... I was trying to trip him up so he goes high and then he angles into the corner a little weird but that didn't really happen okay now we're gonna get behind him we should at least okay he <laughs> he's trying he's really trying hard to how oh, it is white flag time Dude, really close to the apron i the car won 
We were gonna wreck anyways, apparently. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, yo! Casey Kane, ow! Okay, we'll finish 18th. Ah, uh, sure. God damn it. It was either gonna be, like, 12th or... Okay, that's... I'll take it. I'll take it. Fucking Picker just didn't screw shit up. He wouldn't even be in that position to begin with. And Luke Trigger got 8th, so we lost points. Wonderful. So Luke got 8th. That puts him at 142 points, with us getting 18th. 109, so we lose about 33 points. Uh, definitely a... Definitely a decent chunk. Su surprised Cowboys uh, cycled out in front of Boyer, even though Boyer did pit before Cowboys, so we should have undercut him and then gained time, but it didn't work. I don't know how that happened, but... Whatever. I don't even know what to say. That just... How many times are we gonna get boned by our fucking pit crew or my ad driver just stopping when the cycle of pit stops are over? It's like... Oh, God. We should even, like I said, we shouldn't even have been in that position to begin with. We drop back down to 285 back to uh, Boyer. Well, not really back, but ahead of. And Boyer and Luke are tied for second. Interesting. I guess Boyer beats him on a tiebreaker, I think. Labonte's actually not too far back, considering he was like 10th or 11th at one point in the season. So he's absolutely leapfrogged a bunch of people. But we got Old Spice. I'm hoping it's not a long race because we all know I'm going to win. It's not going to be a question. Oh, great. It's 18 laps at that track. Wonderful. Well, I'll put my music on because I know I'm going to win. Oh, wow. Another pull. Who would have thought? Well, it's the uh, same setup as usual. I don't know why I go through this, but I, I guess it's just a uh, routine. <laughs> but as long as we get through the first two corners with the lead, we're good. We can then just cruise along, trawl a our way to an easy win. And yeah, that will be really it. Why on earth is this race 18 laps long? It actually might be one of the longest races in the uh, Bush Series season at this rate. Which is uh, weird to think. And... Alright, we're good. I'll see you later. I'll see you when I win. Well, it's pit road time. I don't know where the line is, so I'll probably speed again. There it is, somewhere on here. Four tires and fuel, and that's it. We got damaged because I hit the wall because I wasn't focusing, but that's <laughs> just nothing. Wow, the pit crew actually got their time. They actually didn't fuck it up. Well, holy shit. Unfortunately, it's at a track where we had like a three-second lead, and they were actually probably warranted to make a good stop, but th that's just, just the irony. This game just wants to make comedy out of my misery. Oh, by the way, we cycled into the lead. So, yeah, we're we gonna win. Well, uh, I can't say nobody saw this coming, right? <laughs> oh, God. I'll take it. I'll take any win I can. It's just, holy crap. All right, on to the next one. So, Boyer's second, Luke Trigger fifth, so I didn't gain too much points on him. I don't think I'm gonna gain 30 of those points back I lost from the last race, but, um, all right. Uh, any rivals? Yep. I don't know who that is. That can't... <laughs> the only one I know that's mad at me is Casey Kane. That better not be Casey Kane, I swear to God. Let me guess. It's another raise for like the twelfth time. Yep. What What? What did I say? I Ow, my neck. Ow. <laughs> God. I apologize. No! When am I ever going to just not... Oh, I can't do that right. Okay, well... Uh, point standings. Okay, we gained a little bit, so. Alright, well, on the Texas, and we'll see what we can do. Off turn four, eh. I don't think it'll be a pole. It'll be close, but. Yeah, I'm okay. Well, <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. I'll, get, I'll take it, sure. Uh, but by how much? Okay, barely over Tony Stewart. Okay, that's that's cool. So, car set up like usual, same as usual, as always. Uh, actually, the only thing different is 3 run ratio. I had at 350, but I bumped it down to 345, so that's about it. Now we'll see if we can get a good start here. Maybe. I guess we'll see. And through third. And, nope, okay. Okay, good to know. <laughs> I should have known already for racing here in Texas earlier. But, uh, yeah. Uh, that, that... 
that was uh, that was a bad start. Oh my god, I oh my god, I fucked up. I got I got nothing. I Oh my god <laughs> God damn it. Alright, we'll rack it up and do it again and have another awful start. I'm sure Shrex is gonna obliterate me for that, rightfully so. And the game put me in third gear. That's just fucking wonderful. We've caught up to this front two. Dale Jr. took over the lead from Stewart, so we have that on our hands, and... Ooh, ooh, oh, oh, Stuart's trying to do it. Take it back. That's three wide for the lead, I think. Okay. Uh, I, I didn't have the confidence to hold it to the bottom. Damn it. Oh, God. Well, we got the lead anyways. Jeez. I can't do anything. I just, like, that was going to be cool, and I just ruined it by hitting them. We're heading down pit road. Everybody else is starting to do so as well. Obviously, after the previous lap. Slow down. Perfect. So not bad. Okay. Uh, okay. Four tires and fuel, and that's it. Guess my time was 17-1, and that's a 15. We had a 15-7, and then our my AI driver just stops, and that just kills our time again. Wow. That's... T I guess we need to add to the list of what screws our pit stops is not only my AI... My pit crew, my my pit crew, but my AI driver itself. Well, uh, we're gonna cycle out <laughs> losing spots like usual. It's just unreal. Every fucking, it's like every damn race, every damn race in some way, except for the old spiced one. For whatever the reason may be, we just get killed on the pit stops time and time again. We cut up to Luke Trigger. I think that's Luke Trigger. It might be Stewart. No, it's Luke Trigger. I must have got involved in that wreck on the first lap because of my dumbass. But with that pass, that puts us up into fifth. Now we got to get by Truex for fourth, if Lungs doesn't like obliterate me. I think the good thing is Boyer's nowhere in his top five, so we still should gain points on him, which is always nice. So we got that. We just got to get by Truex. So that's like our only uh, <laughs> big hurdle, just because he's, he's very salty with me. Nope, no, uh, I don't want to clip the apron because this is another track too where it will spin you into a cyclone. <sighs> that was almost death again for poor Truex. Okay, we're side by side with him. Give me your best shot, Truex. No. Nope. Are you a bitch? Huh? He is a little bitch. We've copped Dale Jr. trying to peek to the inside for third and. Don't hit him. Okay. I think that's Kyle Busch in second, so good. Boyer's nowhere to be found. Now he's got a clear junior. Don't wreck ourselves. We've got to put him in the wall there. And still side by side. We should have to... Obviously, we do have the third lane. And there we go. Up to third, and that's probably all we'll get. Stuart will get the win. Man, it's just frustrating, because we were still closing in on the leader just a bit there. So we were... Oh, God. It's just... It's unreal. It's, I, I don't even have words. It's just, it happens so many times. We should have so many more wins because of them without their, their fuck-ups. Ah, <sighs> whatever. Uh, Boyer is nowhere in the top 10, I don't think. Okay, he's 12, so yeah, we'll gain a good chunk of points on them. Definitely not a two-race point lead, but definitely more than one, that's for sure. I don't know who was my rival that last race. Uh, hopefully that wasn't Casey Kane, because uh, we don't need a universe... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, <laughs> stop! Think before you speak. That was gonna say something really bad. A black Casey Kane just is not accurate to his real life portrayal. Okay, that's what I meant to say. I don't know who he is, but he has a chin like mine. That's kind of hot. Let's see. Is it another raise? No, it's just somebody salty. Let's confront them. Yeah, there we go. We actually made. We didn't apologize. We actually did what I wanted to. Okay. And it's going to be a 30 point lead. Nice. Um, uh, I guess we'll wrap this part up now. <laughs> it's bonus races time. We're doing two of them because that was pretty short. So, yeah. So, we got Phoenix and Homestead. Obviously, the point lead, like I was uh, already showing, we're pretty much on lockdown. I could obviously sim Homestead and just move on to next season, but I want to see how I, I'll do just to get a little indicator of how we'll be in the Cup Series. When we get to that at some point, so. 
yeah. Anyways, on to Phoenix, and uh, we'll see what we do in uh, qualifying. Off of turn four, it's going to be about the same as the first lap. Maybe a little bit better, but I don't think it'll be... Uh, where is it going to place this? Okay, still fourth. Okay. On the outside line, which is still a problem, but hopefully we can get the inside line right away and have a nice race. So our car setup, everything is the same except for the rear, uh, the rear end ratio. It's at 345, and that's really it. So we'll see how we uh, how we do. Obviously, the spring race we did well, but the pit crew kind of screwed us, and we got like I think third or fourth. So I guess not bad, but it's just one of those races where we probably should have won and we didn't. So the pit crew probably likely screwed us. So and we had a horrible job going through turn one and two. Can I get down to the inside line? No, I can't because Boyer's there, and we're going to... It was going to happen. It was going to happen because I was on the outside line. That's just the, the curse of it all. And can I get back down low? Yes, I can. Okay. Ooh, okay, we'll get by Vickers, too. No? Yes? Maybe? Yes, it will be. Uh, Don't hit him. Don't hit him. Okay, up to fifth. The inside is Sadler for fourth. He's kind of slipping back a little bit. And there we go. Hooray, we didn't actually make contact. Now we got to catch third, which is Labonte. Luke Trigger is second, and Truex is naturally in first. So, um, yeah, give me a couple laps, and we'll figure out how to get by Labonte eventually. I think I realized why I didn't win here in the spring is because this thing is way too damn tight. I thought the, the adjustments I made on Piro from the last time I was here would have affected it into now, but I guess it didn't, which is something the old EA games used to do, but I guess this game, it, it didn't do that. So interesting. But we're going to be pinning this lap and make that adjustment to make this car a little bit looser because it's just balls-ass tight. <laughs> and... Alrighty, who's heading down pit road? It's Luke Trigger and Vickers. Okay. 70 miles an hour. Perfect. Ow. <laughs> Lower that wedge, and that's it. Where did we get our pit crew from? Like, what training camp did they go to to choke on this level of, of magnitude on a week-to-week -week basis? Actually, that time, surprisingly, was about their estimate, so... Okay. I guess that's not a total failure because they actually got their estimated time somehow. So. But we still lost spots though, so that's that's still kind of a fail. So we were like, what, fourth or so before the cycle began. And we are going to be in ninth. It's almost destroying Boyer again. Well, that sucks. I think we can still probably salvage a top five, but it's just... It's, um, it's amazing how many times my pit crew just throw away the race either even if we're not winning we, it just they just actively make it worse for ourselves the fact that i can't even get around tony reigns is uh, highly concerning like we should be able to get by him without really any problem but then again we are closing in on the leaders so maybe reigns is actually uh, not as slow as i thought but okay and i think this is going to be the moment where we actually make a spot and don't hit him make it clean even if we have to push him off the track, we're not making contact. Alright, we actually made the pass. Barely, but we made it. White flag's out, and I'm quite disappointed. I thought I would at least uh, maybe salvage a top five out of this, but no, we're going to get eighth. And that's quite upsetting. Obviously, we still got the championship on lockdown, so it's not that big of a deal. But damn it, our picker just has to constantly let us down on a week-to-week -week basis. And that is quite frustrating. I think Trex has finally copped into lap traffic, because so that's why we gained like two tenths there. Holy car, can you turn for the love of God? We kept eighth. Ugh. Ugh. Let's just move on. Trex led all the laps. Surprisingly, usually the there's a couple people that lead during the cycle of pit stops, but with uh, Trigger getting third, he gets 165 points, we get 142, so... We only lose 23 points, so again, nothing too horrible. And what will our uh, champion... Okay, 1,400 euro points. Any rivals? Yep. I don't know who that is, but it's. Uh, I don't think it's Casey Kane, so um, 
Yeah, that's good. Or Jerry Mayfield. I don't know. Either way, whatever that driver was. What what is that? Was he doing like a pop and lock move? Did I just see that from my peripherals? I don't know. But he did like a he like a he put his legs together and he like popped and locked a little bit. I don't know what that was. Ace, I don't care about a salty driver. I don't care. No. What's our point be like? It's like 280 something. That's the real set. Okay. Well, we won the championship basically, so. Hooray. Now we'll uh, go on to Homestead and I guess see how good we'll do. I guess it'll be a little bit of an indicator to see how we'll do at that track when we get to the Cup Series. Off turn four. It could be a pull. It might be. It may be close. Okay, that has to be pulled. The ticker barely flickered. Alright, well that's a nice way to end out our final bush start is getting a pull. Good for my ego's sake. And we did it by uh, by a little bit. Not by much, but like about half a tenth. I... So, uh, last race of the season. I um, Surprisingly, it's, uh, came, uh, it saved my setup from the last time I was here, which I believe was with the 10 car. So I have everything saved. The only thing I didn't. But the only thing I did change was the rear end, so I said 345. Um, let's see if we can actually get our, like, last win and our final start. But I'm expecting my pit crew to classically make a just a galactic error like usual for old time's sake. Just to put a sour note at the end of this season. And we lost the lead. Isn't that just a throwback to what would usually happen if we got the pole? We would just lose the lead right away because our gear ratio is just trash. The inside for uh, Tony Stewart for the race lead. It's nice to see the car has, you know, overall horsepower. So we should be able to clear him here getting into one. And then we could just troll -la, la our way to a, to a decent first half of the run where it all falls apart in the second half. So, all right, well, I'm going to relax for now and try to build, uh, build up a gap and pull away from Stewart. We're going to be pinning this lap. We pulled away from Stewart by a little bit. Uh, we're doing a lot better than what we did here with that. Uh, 10 car and this this car is this about the same rating as the other ones. So I'm surprised by that A little bit of drifty drift, but no big deal four tires and fuel and that's it I'm, <laughs> This is looking good so far did, did my picker seriously just fuck up again they did and he took the time to adjust his visor there goes our race There goes our race actually they actually got the estimated time Wow, um Good job pit crew I don't really have any words. They actually got the estimated time despite that blunder. Well, uh, that's kind of impressive. Okay, our biggest saving grace right now is they all enter pit road through that access road. If I were to try to do that, I would spin out, crash. It just, it wouldn't be good. So I have to kind of enter at that angle. But that should be our big gain right there. So anytime we lost on pit road, we should gain it back right here. And this is uh, Tony's door right there, so... Holy shit, we are going to cycle into a lead. We're going to win. I don't care if it's cheating. I, I will take it. Well, this is awkward. Um, We cycled into the lead, and we have almost four seconds on Stuart. Oh, we uh, we gained a lot of time from that. Oh, my. Point flags out. I don't even know what to say about this one. It's uh, I mean, Even without the, the pit road entry advantage, we... We were still a lot faster than Stuart, but oh my good god. <laughs> Usually we don't have races like this. Well, let's, uh, at least we'll end our career with, uh, 10 wins in this season, plus the one from our four starts with the 10 cars, so this will be our 11th overall, uh, Bush Series victory. And, uh, we'll win the championship. I don't know how to feel, but all I know that I feel right now is... One more series to go, and then I'm done with this series. <laughs> That's all I'm thinking of, because I hate this game. We led all but three laps. The other three were by Shane Neal, and Luke Trigger got fifth. And I think he's going to officially uh, get second in the standings, because Boyer was nowhere to be found in the top ten. No, he got ninth. Okay. Kansas from 25th to 5th, and I 10th, and I belched, and I kept it in. That was very polite of me. So are we going to have that one guy do the, the, the move again, or... 1200 hero points is nice. Is his armpit sweaty? Like, why is it so black there? Oh, here we go. Here we go. I'm going to look in the background. 
Who's gonna do the the, the, the thing? There he goes. Look at him. Look at him. He's doing the, the the shit. Okay, I'm 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 happy. Well, uh, here's our final standings. Uh, I I don't care about Ned Shannon. Chase Montgomery won the point thing. He was I don't know what the the point back was. It's so far back. The game is it? It's like a don't. Wait, how does he? How does he have a hundred and forty three something? And then Ricky Craven has thirty. It doesn't make sense. Game. We won the Bush title. Yep. That that's all. Uh, that's all right. Luke Trigger did get second in the standings. And John Hamilton tenth. That's uh, and Cup Jimmy Johnson. By 21 over Tony Stewart. Interesting, because to, uh, Tony Stewart usually in this game is almost always the most competitive and best car. But, um, yeah. And Jimmy Spencer is going to get re, uh, re... Or he's going to retire. And Daryl Sykes. Sickies. Sykes. Sickies. Ah, whatever. <laughs> Alright. New season. It will only have five offers. I'm hoping the cup stuff can hear. Well, thank you for giving me a raise. Now, the other ones are going to be contract contract offers for Cup. I'm hoping. Because if not, then I'm just going to do another season off camera. And then we'll uh, do Cup or something. Because I'm not going to do another season of Bush. So what do we have for Cup? Are you fucking kidding me? Nothing for Cup! What do I do? Like, what do I do here? I'm not doing another season season of the Bush series. I'll just do a whole season off camera just so we can get a cup right. Because I'm not going to sit here and do like another like whatever odd parts for the series. That's that's horse shit. I'm sorry. That's just bullshit. All because I did those couple of starts with a 10 car. I'm going to get penalized for that. That's asinine. Thank you, phone. I need that blue. But, alright. Well, I guess that's what I'm going to do. So, thank you, game, for making me basically waste my time. You can go eat shit and die. Well, I'm going to go with Roush, because that's really the only option that I have, and it's the best one, so... I guess we'll just destroy them or something. I'm hoping, for the love of God, we'll get a cup offer. If not, then I guess this Let's Play will end there. If the game's just never going to put me uh, into the to whatever. Or I just somehow get enough money to get a cup offer, but then at the same time, who knows how long that will take. But yeah, Roush is basically the best one. I don't know what car I'll get exactly. But I guess... Okay, it's number 9, Pennzoil. Well, that's kind of cool. Alright, well. That we need to do off-camera. Big shout-out to my two or three Patreon supporters. The Dale Reynolds with the Bros. Comic Cousy Games. Ryan Lazar and Dave on our chat 15. NASCARversite.org. Billy Kiru. Drew Jones. The Car and Robert Dillon. Golf Cable 100. And Denny Hamlet. Ultimate Fan for Nation. Again, I can't thank you guys enough for contribution and support their channel. Every single month like this, it does me a lot. And it always goes a very long way. So, I always like to reiterate it because it means a lot. And also, if you're seeing this, it's already going to be like a week or so behind than what I'm, what you're seeing now. But the, the, the Tier 2 and Tier 3 Patreon people are on the car, including Tier 3. So I just I want to say that because you, you guys are awesome, and I want you to know. Thanks. Thank you. I'll see you all next part where we are in the Cup Series. I really don't want to do another Bush Series season because we already won the title. We did everything we needed to in that series. I mean, it would be cool to be in the 9 car, but I don't really want to prolong the series anymore because I've already... Like, if I didn't win the title in the bush and then I went to this ride, then sure, I would do another season, but I already won a title. I'm not going to go put through another, like, 13 or 14, however many episodes, probably, like, 12 or 13, just to get through Cup. I'm not going to pad this series out anymore. It's really not worth that much time. But I'll definitely do all that stuff off camera, and we'll see if it gets me a better ride. If it doesn't do that by 2010, then... I guess I'll just end the Let's Play there and make another video just explaining it. Because I, I don't know what more I can do other than just wait to get enough money to buy a competent cup ride. But you have to understand, that is so much freaking money to buy. Even even a low-class team is $8 million, And the best one is $19 million. We aren't even We aren't even close to any of them. Unless I put in the cheap... <laughs> I guess that would be the only way, because for right now, there's there's nothing much more I can do. I mean, I guess I can own a team and then, I don't know, buy them? But I don't think that works in this game, though. Like, I can't hire and pick a driver, so I'm kind of screwed. I, yeah, I, I mean, I can, I guess I can buy a team, but I don't know if that would, I don't know. 
So what happens if I buy one? Does uh, I guess we'll buy Everham. Does that mean I can hire a driver and do all that stuff? Because I really don't want to... I don't know if I just wasted my time. Uh, can't really do anything here. So, select. That's interesting. Just max all the amount, I guess. <laughs> sure. I mean, we got money. We got nine hundred forty-five thousand. I'm hoping I will do something, but I, I have no idea. Okay, we can up the merchandise if we do the public relations. Bump that up, ninety-seven hundred or. That's, that's, yeah, that's not bad at all. And with that, um, I think we got really everything we can possibly get at. Of course, our team administration is 69. That's, what are the odds? I think that's all we can really do. Uh, I guess, like, I don't really want to design the car. I'm too lazy. <laughs> we'll, get, we'll throw a sponsor on there. Good lord, the frames. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. 155,000 per race? Oh my good lord. Uh, okay, they're all basically the same price, so I don't think it matters too much. Okay. Well, I guess that's good. I really hope I can just hire a driver, because I really... Okay, good. I, I, I didn't even see that. Uh, uh, sure, we'll go with Chase Diggs. That's not Chase Diggs. That's Creepy guy from NASCAR 05. We'll go with him because he's the most expensive. So I'll be 16,000. And I can't really look at his stats or anything, so I'm assuming that's really all I can do. Let's just, uh. <laughs> Let's up the merch. $5 for keychain, 15 for a, a gray shirt, and 15 for. Okay. Okay, so I guess off camera we'll get a lot of money from. All this stuff, I think. So I guess that'll be cool. In team management, we upped everything, so really, there's really nothing else to. I did all this though. Why is it not saving? That doesn't make any sense. Purchase. Can it can it save that, or am I just wasting my money? Can I only do it like one at a time? Maybe it's one at a time. I don't know. Why 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 can I not just do it all at once? Is that what it is? Yes, it is. I have to do it one at a time. What? That doesn't make any damn sense. Am I just wasting... What I was just wasting my money just... I I guess I wasn't, but it's weird it only does it one at a time, though. That doesn't... That doesn't make any sense to me. Yeah, it only did it one at a time. I mean, we got money for it. It's not a problem, but it's just weird. And I think that's it. So, um... Okay, now, now we can end the episode. I'll see you all next season. I'm hoping we'll get... <laughs> a lot of money for some form of a cup ride or, or something. I guess we'll have to wait and see. So I'll see you all later, and as always, have a good day, everyone.